difficult for me and I need to make the choice for what's the right time. The right time is, is when you stand and with your husband is before still God. Beautiful, beautiful. You Someday, commitment and a morning, vow. Yeah, love for you then enter into the covenant of marriage. Right and now, then you go to the rows of creation. That's when it's the right time. Anything other than that is a sin. Sweet home, Alabama. Because they would take and offer their children uh, just stay so they could have home, Alabama. And do you see, uh, they are getting already. What's oh, terrible, is it? Spring, weather, uh, plus. I mean, you can see that spring tree. Hey, let's go pick up. They are all getting up. Right now, you say, let's go. You know, getting ready for leaves, flowers. I mean, think about it, wouldn't we? And bring your fresh season coming right now in Alabama's days. I get my hands on that little girl. Something about the, these atrocities, it, it just, I think, it better not nobody play that game with this baby. Y'all ain't seen G.I. Joe with a Kung Fu grip. You don't know what boys from Sand Mountain do. Don't even ask. Just don't try to dream about it either. Because this is not good. I, I mean, just, it, it just, it, it almost draws us to anger, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Okay, before we get mad, we have to consider the church. In Israel, the church was intermingling the worship of God with other gods. They were... Uh, today's your temperance right now, 63 uh, degrees Fahrenheit, uh, nice, warm. Selfish desires ahead of what God required. We have to consider the church. As we consider the church in Israel, I want to use it as a parallel to look at the church today. That's a cruise ship. Many churches today have found themselves moving further and further away of the Great Commission and found themselves doing nothing more than becoming an entertainment industry. We found ourselves kind of like a cruise ship. If you've ever been on a cruise, it kind of goes like this. You show up after buying your ticket. You go through the screening, you get on board. You end up at a muster station where they give you the rundown just in case this old ship goes down. This is where you go. This is what you do. When it's over, you're free to do whatever you want. I mean, you can eat, you can lay out, you, you, can, you can watch shows. I mean, there's just all kinds of things. Now, I've got to be honest, I've been on some cruises and I found it a very, very good vacation for a pastor because the phone don't work. Uh, passing your exit 32. In the first cruise uh, I went on, I was very reluctant. I told my wife, I said, look, I don't know about being cooped up in that room because, I, you know, I get a little antsy and I'm afraid I'm, you know, you don't want crazy old Greg to show back up. I mean, you just think about this before we go. Well, we, she gets me on the boat, and I go into the room, and we start our journey, and I fell asleep. I woke up. Guess what? It was time to eat. I eat until I couldn't eat anymore, and so I thought, that's awesome. Well, I don't see anything else interesting. I think I'm going to go back to that room to sleep again. I'm taking three hour naps. I mean, I, I asked her, I said, do they put gas in these rooms? Or what, what's... Because I'm thinking, I done slept six hours today. There's no way I'm going to sleep tonight. And I go to bed at night. I didn't know what was happening to me. What I did was, and I said that to be funny, what I did was I found it was extremely easy. When I would go out to supper at night, I'd 
say, you see this face? He gets two plates. And the guy would call me by name and say, yes, sir, no problem. And at supper? This is a highway west of 20. And also highway south of 59. Uh, speed limit here, 70 miles an hour.